So today I'm going to talk about another pattern um, that I'm going to release today. It was first published three months ago um, and yeah, I'm going to release it today as a single pattern download. So I hope you cannot hear the annoying huge fly that is flying around right now. So anyway, this is the Lucky Charm. It is quite a massive rectangle, rectangle, triangular shaped shawl. Um, and I love wearing this piece. Honestly, I haven't had, you know, so many opportunities to wear it outside, but I wore it in the house a couple of times and it's just really, really cozy and yeah, I really, I really like it. The little tassels. Yeah, I love it. So, what can I tell you about this shawl? Well, I have used a lot of slit stitches for this pattern, like a lot of them. <laughs> and that's because I have kind of been obsessed with slit stitches for the past six months, I would say. I have a few patterns lined up that feature different types of slip stitches and yeah I just I've just been obsessed I just love the texture I just love knitting them and yeah I think you can incorporate them in so many different ways and yeah it's it's I don't know what I really like about them I think is the fact that you don't <laughs> she's huge Stay away. What I love about slip stitches is that, is that you don't actually knit the stitches that you slip. Duh. <laughs> so you only knit a few stitches, then you slip the yarn. You put you basically put the yarn, the working yarn in the front of the work, and then you slip and then you knit the next stitches. So it's way less knitting. And then on the wrong side you do you just across so yeah that basically knits up quite quickly um, and then so that is for the first part the second section uh, starty, uh, slowly starts to incorporate more <laughs> more stockinets so, <laughs> really, really nice transition because you, you've done all of this first section that is like really meditated because you basically repeat the same stitch um, over and over and then you do something slightly different here. So it's, I don't know, it, it, it kind of does something to the brain, I can't really explain what it is, but I don't know, it's... Probably the, it, it probably has something to do with the rhythm. Sorry, I have some fluff. <laughs> and then the last section is going to require a little bit more attention because um, you basically slip stitches on the right side, on the right side, and on the wrong side of the fabric, and that creates these beautiful little arrows over here. And then you finish off with a simple garter stitch um, border, and then you add the tassels. So that's it. It's quite a large shawl, and that's because I have used three skins of um, merino single fingering, um, and I think that merino singles are more on the um, thinner side uh, of the fingering weight so yeah it kind of makes larger larger pieces um, I don't have the yarn tag with me so I don't remember how many meters per skin there is but um, yeah I I knit with um, two two full skins and then I was left with probably 30 30 grams out of the third one so, yeah, this pattern
that it was a collaboration with Pearl <laughs> Purple Len. It's kind of hard to put a French word and an English word together. <laughs> Purple Len, uh, which is a French company, and they um, they dyed the yarn um, for for this shawl and they have other beautiful colorways. So I will link to the shop right below. Uh, but if you have merino singles in your shop, three in your shop, <laughs> in your stash, if you have three skins of merino singles fingering in your stash, that would be more than enough to make this little piece. I think that it would work really well with uh, speckles, um, if you have something like hedgehog fibers, I think that that would work really well with uh, gradient yarns as well because that would work really really well with the stitch pattern that is kind of transitioning, transitioning throughout uh, the pattern, uh, the shawl. And yeah, or maybe a you know, slightly um, variegated skin or skins would work really really well as well. So yeah. The pattern is now out on Ravelry as a single download, so I will include all the information below. I will also include a little coupon code that you can use. And yeah, I think that that is it for now. Um, yeah, let me know if you are planning to knit this piece in, and in which yarn. I really want to know which yarn you are planning to use uh, for it. So yeah, that's it for now and I will be chatting with you very soon again.